Namaste. So it's been a few days since I checked in. <laughs> Everything has changed. I have the probably once in a lifetime opportunity to join a monastery in an isolated part of the mountains. And I'm not going to show you around, you know, <laughs> but it's beautiful, okay? You can see there's some jungle out the window there of my meditation kuti. So I would be crazy if I didn't take this opportunity. And I'm not crazy, so I'm going to take it. <laughs> the place is, well, I'm not going to say where it is, and not even what country it is. Because in the past, we've had problems with trolls, haters, and other idiots trying to locate me and cause trouble. So because of the few bad eggs, I have to deprive you of uh, that information. But uh, it's in a beautiful place. <laughs> I mean, we're right in the foothills. And the water is coming down from the mountains itself. And we are the first, uh, first people on the stream. So we have pure water, absolutely organic. <laughs> There's fruits growing in the forest. Uh, I have a nice little cabin. All the comforts of home even electricity, but no phone and no internet. So I have to wait until I come out for some reason to upload these videos. So next time I have some business in town, I'll do that. I'll upload this video and you get to see it. And after that, mm, it will probably be months before I come out again. Actually, <laughs> at first, I was just going to disappear and not say anything to anybody. <laughs> I'm really in that mood, you know. I'm 72 years old, or this body is anyway. I feel like a kid. But uh, at that age, you know, I could live another 20 years or I could die tomorrow. I don't know. So... Because I know how to reach samadhi. I know how to reach enlightenment. I'm going to give myself that gift. I'm going to live in a state of grace. Uh, I have nothing to do here except eat, sleep, and meditate. And I'm taking full advantage. The headmaster, the abbot, or whatever you want to call it, is very understanding. He very much respects my connection with Ramana Maharshi and Bhikkhunyanananda. We had a nice long talk the day I got here. He tested me, though. At first I came, he said, oh, we don't allow Westerners here. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> That's cool. And then we talked some more. And I said, really, all I want to do is meditate. I don't have any family. I don't have any really friends. I don't have any, you know, obligations to anybody. I don't have any membership in any organizations. I'm completely free to do whatever I like. And what I want to do is simply be absorbed in meditation. And he says, mm, well, maybe you can stay a couple of days. <laughs> so I came up here, took some of my stuff up here. My God, it's beautiful here. No pollution. Huh? Birds all day and night. That's all you hear is birds. 
the most beautiful varieties of songbirds just out of this world. Even whippoorwills, which have been extinct in the West for over a hundred years due to nonsense rascals. You know, whippoorwills. <laughs> Amazing songbirds. Maybe we'll get one while I'm recording. But, uh, and of course, monkeys and other kinds of critters. I opened my door yesterday after my afternoon nap, and there was like a three-meter snake in my, in my front porch. <laughs> I don't know who was more surprised, me or him, <laughs> or her. It's hard to tell the difference. But anyway, I love living in the jungle. I love being in a pure place. And the people, my God, there's only five monks here. And they're all like my age. And they're happy. They meditate. Huh? They're not stupid. <laughs> they're doing the right thing with their lives and they're happy. So, <laughs> so am I. <laughs> so, um, the monk, uh, the head monk invited me to spend the rest of my life here, and I might just do that. And, uh, oh, after, after a couple of days staying here, I was telling him, you know, yeah, I get up really early, like three, four o'clock. I just meditate, you know. So one day he tried to catch me out. He came up at four o'clock, came up the steps. And there I was, you know, sitting, meditating. <laughs> he says, okay, now I see what kind of man you are. You can stay the rest of your life. So uh, barring any unforeseen circumstances, which... There probably will be, but <laughs> if they're not too bad, that's exactly what I'm going to do. And uh, I'm letting go of my house, getting rid of all my possessions, whatever I don't need. I'm going to save the little bit of equipment that it takes to make these videos, though. Just in case, you know, someday, I mean, I've got a lot to say. I've got an awful lot to say. But right now, I just want to bring my practice up to the standard that I want. Maybe after, you know, I've been at that level for a significant span of time and I feel satisfied, then I'll want to share it. But right now, I'm only meditating like six hours a day, you know, so I'm just getting warmed up. Yeah, after a month or two, then I should be full on. And uh, just living in samadhi all the time. Because that's the opportunity here. This is a real meditation monastery. So I intend to take full advantage. <laughs> I've been hard up, man. I've been living in this house right next to a construction site. You know, it was driving me batty, so I had to get out of there. And uh, this is just like, oh, yeah, the, the astrocartography, locational astrology, is something I've been studying for a long time. And um, this place is right smack in the middle of the best zone that I could find on any on any uh, piece of land in the whole world uh, and so astrocartography definitely works but you have to use the vedic system not the western system western system is broken so find yourself a good vedic astrologer find out where your place on earth is mm -hmm. And uh, check it out, man. Travel. Check it out. So, this is goodbye. At least 
for, I don't know, three to six months. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I've got plenty to say. But the act of putting together a personality to talk to those people out there, whoever they are, uh, goes against what I'm trying to do in meditation right now. I'm trying to get back to where I was when I attained fourth path about four years ago. And because now I have the community and the supportive environment to go fully into it, no holds barred, and completely dissolve the false personality, the synthetic ego necessary for interaction with the world. Uh, so I want to go through that dissolution phase uh, without having to hold anything back. The last time I was living on my own and uh, surrounded by idiots. <laughs> so I couldn't, I couldn't let go completely. I had to reconstruct a uh, false ego and poisonality. Uh, for dealing with the world. And uh, I wasn't happy to do that. You know, but it was necessary at the time. Now it's not. So I'm looking to get back into my Arhant phase and uh, fully let go of the ego and see what happens. Oh, and the food is great. <laughs> the food is out of sight. As much fruit as I can eat. And two meals a day of outstanding uh, quality devotional food. Oh, my God. So, hey, I'm in heaven. You know, I'll be all right. <laughs> no matter what happens here. <laughs> So I want you all to know that and uh, that I'm not inviting you here because as far as I know, none of you are ready for this. So, yeah, you can write me. You can send an email. It might be months before I even receive it. And who knows when I'll get around to answer it. <laughs> You're on your own, guys. <laughs> but I've given you everything. Especially if you go back from the beginning. And I'm going to make one more video on meditation technique. According to this um, Devi Kalotra. And... Um, also show how the same technique is portrayed in the Buddha's teaching, as I've been doing so far. And then you have to implement it. You have to sit down and do it huh? or don't do it. <laughs> Just sit down. <laughs> Let it happen. Huh? We say don't just do something. Sit there. <laughs> Sit there and prepare yourself. Clean your mind. Wait and let it happen. The energy knows. Huh? The Shakti knows. She's in you. She's taking care of maintaining the body and the whole thing. She knows. And when you're ready, she'll move. And you'll get the result. So make yourself ready. And then just wait. Aung Tatsa. Aung Harihi Aung. <laughs>